Right, I seem to have an error with VS Code, so I'm going to do a full installation of VS Code. So, I mean, I could go to the download here, I'll just click on the main website, and download for Windows, and download is running right now. I just had an update, and I've never had this before, because it always updates super fast. But for some reason, the update didn't work, so... I'm hoping I haven't lost too much stuff, but who knows. I also like if I go to code here in my browser, VS Code, VS Code, let's have a look. No, but I've got the setup thing that's over there. Anyway, I'll do show in folder and double click on it. I accept the agreement, next. Uh, create a desktop item, why not? Um, add the open code, da, da, da. so all of this, install. The setup is preparing installation on, of, on your computer. The following applications are using files that need to be updated, rg.exe. automatically close the applications. Okay, I don't even know what rg.exe is. That's interesting. What is rg.exe? from OneDrive. Just a little pop-up message, so let's click on that. Try again. What is rg.exe? It takes up more sort of So this thing has caused a break in my VS code. Visual code is, VS code is broken. Hmm. It should launch when you open code. Right. Still being thrown the error message. Ignore the error and continue. <clears throat> Very worrying, that is. I just had the standard update for install uploading VS Code. Right. There we go, got the whole path of it. Notepad. That's an interesting one. It's in the C drive. Um, Microsoft VS. Attempt to go and find it. Um, right. Let's go to our C drive and then go to well, dot dot. Right, it must be in program. Is it it's either in program files? I'm imagining or program files or program files eighty six. Let's have a look. There you go. We've got that there, and then program files eighty six. Okay, that's Visual Studio, and the other one's Visual Studio Code. Okay. Just go back. Uh, 
a Visual Studio as well. What is that? VS Code. Let's have a look. I might have to expand it. Expand. This is Visual Studio. Back. Or Program Files. Program Files 86. That's Visual Studio. VS Code. Oh, hold on. Skip this file. Not recommended. Don't know what the hell this is. Node modules are these. Launch VS Code. Okay. Release notes. That's the oddest thing. Just going to see if my snippets are there and other things for all loop. Okay. If done domain equals done domain, okay, so things seem to be there. That's the oddest thing. Don't know why that would have occurred in particular. So I had to do a full reinstall. This is kind of like the oddest thing. I don't know why that was the case at all. Uh, market save doesn't matter. The Binance database thing, okay. So that was the oddest error ever. I'm just going to sort of like go back and have a little browse. There was something called rg.exe. What is rg? It takes up so much source. What is rg.exe? Maybe I should have shut down the task or something. Um, Task manager. Let's so put it into here. This is something I don't see, something called rg.exe. Apps, okay. Background processes. RG.exe. There's two things here running. Don't know what they are. Memory 2.3 megabytes. I'm going to close, close down the two codes and see if they disappear or what happens there. Right. Very odd. I'm going to go up to here, have to hit refresh, new chat, we'll ask what. What is rg.exe? I just wonder if ChatGPT has got a, a, it's an executor for a rig for it, which is an on, which is a line oriented search tool that recursively searches directories for lines of text that match regular expression. Okay, reg, regular expression.exe then. Uh, 
Ride Rip tool on the Windows operating system. install I don't know what this is does ride grip work on windows This is an NPM node uh, package manager module for using LiveRep in a node project. It is used by VS Code. Literally don't know what this is or what it does for VS Code. Recursively, recursively searches directories for a regex pattern. I basically couldn't perform an update. Go back in. Python. So we will check. I was in applications basically, and it prompted me for a reload. So now I'm not being prompted for a reload anywhere. That's your repo C plus plus. Some more extensions that you've got, and I probably I don't know if I'm going to say have I got too many extensions because I tried to get C plus plus working. Um, you know, possibly that Code Runner. Um, would it be that? No, so just really the oddest thing had this error message um, even on the installation this rg.exe seemed a bit odd but ignoring it everything seems to work thereafter basically this was a piece of stack overflow code so um, but it was very long in fact control z you know could be. someone was trying to make a cache register and it didn't work and they posted their code um, I was going to attempt to correct it, but this is it's, it's kind of like everything's all in one block, and these variables here were all described up here, and it's like a nightmare to read through. So somebody actually posted that it's a nightmare to read through. Anyway, I couldn't get this RG. I'm, I'm just don't know why that was the case. You know, I'm going to post my own little piece of code and just test or so um, or there's my for loop um, print hello oops how about printing it inside the quotations hello i something like that or hello x because it's for x in range there we go and i'll try the Interactive first, connecting to Python, looks fine there. I'll hit F5 as well. I wonder if I can actually run them in parallel. Um, not quite, but that worked here. And it worked here. Okay, I literally don't know what uh, rg.exe is. If anyone can post anything, or if anyone had the same issue, 
um, which is prompted for an update with VS Code in the standard way. It always it prompts you for updates every now and again, especially when you've got packages that basically um, need updating. So you can sort of like do the reload, um, hit update, and then that error message popped up. So <clears throat> yeah. Um, I couldn't open up any of my VS codes from the command from the window, so I couldn't like it just disappeared. So VS code this this disappeared from the uh, main window, and I went down and downloaded VS code from the official website, ran it. That rg.exe thing was still there, which we I see is here. So I don't know what rg.exe is exactly. There is some kind of description over here. Yeah. Um, well, at least over here, what is rg.exe? Let's just see. Can you get the can you get the command line arguments? Most likely from an extension. Okay. So in the task manager, okay, so this guy's run through similar sort of process to, to what I had. In the in the task manager, you can right click the columns and show command line, and then get the command line for the rg.exe. Okay, so I could do that in the task manager actually. There. Okay, right click, or end task with resource values. There's properties, open file location. There we go. So it belongs in here anyway. That's actually the full path. I was actually looking for the full path. Okay, this is what users, admin, app data, local program. Okay, that's why I couldn't find it for a start because I was looking at Visual Studio. Um, so that's actually the way to find this rg.exe thing. Um, So it's something about okay, one of your extensions is searching for CSS So it's something to do with one of the extensions. If I get it again, I just I guess I'm gonna have to go through and sort of like remotely browse and edit any Azure apps. Azure repos. Like I don't recall even having this one. Uh, I might have to remove some extensions. Just having too many extensions can be problematic. Um, I don't use C++ on VS Code um, just because it's a bit awkward to get it working, although I got to get it working on the laptop. Um, so I basically use VS Code for Python pretty much only. I could use it for Node. I mean, obviously, you can use it for any language, but that's what I use it for. Use Rainbow CSV for ages, remote repositories. Remotely browse and edit git repositories. Must be one of these. Like I'm not sure that they actually ever came with um and this is your repos as well. Let's you quickly browse and search any remote is your repos um, re repos repository directly from within VS Code. Why do you need it? As developers, um, we often clone Git repos locally just to browse them or make small edits. We may want to look at the source code of the library we use to experiment with new tools or just for Right, I don't ever recall installing this uh, as your repos thing. Switch to pre release version, uninstall. Okay, 
don't want that. I'm just going to take the opportunity. C make tools. C make. Okay, this is possibly for C++, so I might leave that one. GitHub repos, will I possibly use those? But again, it's, I actually clone the repos. How do you do this browsing thing anyway? GitHub repositories. got a million users remotely browse and edit any github repository how right details to browse learn or search a code base or parts of one either as it exists today or any point in history okay getting started okay well there you go You can search for a repo or pull request. The examples here, it's not very clear ever on these things. I'm just still like waiting for this picture to rotate and go back to what it was. So I could kind of do control shift P and then open a repository. Git open repository. Let's you do something like that by the looks of it. Not really of interest though. I can't really see what's typed in here. I do the control plus, maybe I can zoom in even a bit more. No, because you pick the image down here is just not really visibly readable. Features. Right, let's just see this one more time. Look at these little snippets. You can't. Was it from here or something? Manage? No. Open a remote window. Ah, there you go. Open remote repository. <clears throat> it's a little click on the right. I've always had it open re open repository from GitHub. Open pull request. Okay. Interesting. Sign in. I'm going to get a verification code sent to my phone. Device verification. Ah, to my email, not my phone. So I've got to go in and launch my email. Hit refresh. Get a verification code, stick it in here. Verifying, copy verified. Open. Well, I've got VS code open. Uh, open Visual Studio. Okay, I'll open the code anyway. Okay, open. I made it repo. Okay, do you want to save the changes you uh, made to test? Okay, let's hit save anyway. That doesn't do anything. So I presume I'm opening up a repo. That'd be interesting. <coughs> That's quite useful. Okay, so from failure, 
rises to Phoenix. So, and these are modules that I made. So does that mean that I can, there we go, some nice things. I'm going to make a test file then. So, test.py and then print hello world and control save and then go to, I guess I should browse through my GitHub now and or is there on here? Go to repository. Well, that is the actual repository. And then, so, like, hit refresh there. Um, well, there's nothing there. I didn't see that test file pop up. So, I'm just going to go back to the VS Code. Oh, okay, fine. So, we've probably got to. Restricted mode is intended for safe code browsing. Trust this folder and enable all features. Okay. Manage. Trust. Couldn't start client. I thought. Okay. Don't even know what that is. Again. Lots of error messages today. But anyway, let's just go back. I'll leave this error message. Couldn't start, I thought. Another thing to stick into the notepad. Different thing. Couldn't start, I thought. Whatever that is. But let's just go here, commit and push. You must specify a message. Test. There we go. Commit and push. So presumably, if I go back to this bit over here and hit refresh, I'm imagining that. Ah, there we go. Fantastic. Okay. So. Looks like in some way that um, the GitHub again, open repository, go to repository. Right, so I just have to shrink this a tiny bit. So over here, you get to go to the repository, and that's a repository that you are connected with, and it shows you over here. GitHub. Uh, if I can, I'll just leave it there. But it says GitHub over the side here. Um, I'm looking over there. It says Git. Well, where these things just go over it. So it says GitHub. So, um, but where? But presumably that exists as well. Am I editing directly into GitHub then in that respect? Because um, if I like right click here and then okay so it is because otherwise i'd get open um open file location so that's new that's interesting i'm not sure about the eyesore thing get rid of that for now but basically the code here is appears to not be on my desktop in the same way that if I in fact continue working in new local clone continue working in VS dev Quite interesting because it's like I've, I'm editing the repository directly, um, which is quite useful. When I open up my usual VS Code, so you know, like here, 
and this is what I was referring to I guess so I'll just do the shift okay So this is my standard and if I like right click on something it would be um, revealing file explorer over here so, so like you know you click on it and uh, it reveals you know where the, where the file is in file explorer. Interesting I've got no cr cross it. What is happening on all of this stuff? Close tab. Okay. I had no close tab on that thing when I did the real in file explorer. It's a bit of an odd one. Never seen that before either. Ah, okay. Popped up now. Some odd things happening. Right, anyway. You can reveal in file explorer. But I guess um so that's where it exists here. It normally kinda of like you'll do your syncing to the repositories here. But this is nicer in a way because I always have this issue which is I want to do work in this push and this pull thing and um, I kind of want to work I want to make sure that I'm synced correctly and well I guess you could have a git ignore here so you could like create a git ignore but when I do these um, tests, I want to see them automatically go up and then you sort of like have to do this commit and push and push to the right place and I never know like, or it's a, it's a bit of a bother doing it, it's like a, a two minute process and uh, if you want to do it multiple times it gets a bit annoying. So here you're actually working directly on the repo which is quite interesting. So be able to use repos a bit more often. Remote Explorer, okay. So again, these are things that I like. I used to do, like do tons of this stuff, like daily coding questions. Um, <clears throat> so that's the remote repositories. This is the file manager. Okay. I wonder if on the other one, which is this one, I still have the remote explorer um, over here. Right. Okay. So it gives you the option. Okay. Just new things that I've ignored that are there. Anyway, that's something different on VS Code, but for some reason, whatever it is, um, I had this issue, this RG.exe, updating VS Code, didn't work, had to download, reinstall, every, it had to for, force and ignore as well um, to bypass this RG.exe. I guess I could have closed these two things, I'm not fully sure what they are, but they appear to come from these extensions but I don't know what the extensions are and then I ended up sifting through something else and that's our little morning's journey on VS Code and yeah try and get Python working that's it <laughs>